Hello everyone, welcome to Bomber Stadium and today we will be doing the 2019 award ceremony for the Bombers Whistle League. Today's video is dedicated to the accomplishments of um, the players in our league, what they've done this year. Uh, today's video includes Rookie of the Year, Batting Title, ERA Leader, Home Run Leader, much more like that. So basically we're just going to be uh, announcing who led in what categories. Now I'm going to hand the microphone over to Mike who will be announcing the Rookie of the Year from 4th to 1st place. So uh, coming in fourth uh, for the Rookie of the Year voting was Gavin, who um, had a 212 average with three home runs um, and a 2.05 ERA. Uh, number three in the Rookie of the Year voting was TC, who had an 091 average, five home runs, and a 2.96 ERA. He struck out 19 batters. Um, he had a good season. Uh, both uh, TC and Gavin came from the, uh, the infamous Western Connecticut State. <laughs> uh, second in the Rookie of the Year voting was none other than the homegrown Megley. Our uh, brand, brand new in the, in the league this year. He's the youngest player in, in Bomber Splitsville League this year. He was 15. Um, he, he was an all-star. He, he put in a lot of good work. Hit a bunch of home runs. That, that slider, make sure to check out that slider tutorial video that he put out. Um, and Meg, Megley was just a joy to have on the field. And we're glad he's there. We're looking forward to the second year. And Mike, if you don't mind me saying a few words, Megley, a lot of people don't know this, Megley's my little brother. He doesn't look like me at all. <laughs> but um, I think, I don't know about you, but I think it was the right year to call him up. Uh, 15, he was 14 years old when he actually started playing this year. Just recently turned 15, but I think it was the right decision calling him up to the big leagues, and I think he had a really good year. And the Rookie of the Year of the Bombers Splitsball League is none other than John Doherty, who put in a very impressive season with 11-5 and five record. Let's get a round of applause for, for John. John had 11-5 and five record facing some of the, the best competition in the league. He made it to the ALCS against Nick and put in an eight inning, uh, an eight inning battle that ended in a loss, but he had a, he had a 298 average right right there at the 300 mark. 22 home runs. He struck out 42 batters, which is really good for your first year, and a 1.86 ERA. That was a great year for John. He was definitely the the highlight of the rookies this year, and we're looking forward to seeing what he can do next year. Next up is the award for batting title, and the winner of the batting title is this guy right here, Nikki Babuda. Um, he came in with one with the best uh, batting average of all time in the Bomber Splits Ball League. He had a 357 average, and I can attest to the fact that he is a very good hitter. He can hit everything. You've all seen the videos. He hits, he hits the ball wherever it's pitched. He's got great contact. Um, but Nick had one of the one of the most amazing seasons. Also, he was also the champion of the league. So make sure you check out that championship video against Marco. Okay, so now we have the strikeout leader of the Bombers Blitz Bowl League, and this is no surprise here. Strikeout leader is none other than Mickey Dell. Mickey Dell had a record-breaking 69 strikeouts in the 2019 season. That's the most in Bombers with Soul League history. Nicky Babuda, myself, just coming up short, seven strikeouts below him. But Mike, what did it take? You got 60, not, that's a lot of strikeouts, dude. Uh, I, I don't know, man. Like, I'm, I'm just going out there trying to trying to hit the zone because, you know, for those of us who, uh, who play Bombers with Ball League, it's tough to hit that zone. I was working with a lot of new pitches this year. Um, just, just trying to do what I can to pound the zone and it, I guess it worked out. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Next up is the home run leader of the league, and once again, Nicky Babuda, right here. He had 30 home runs, which was again a record in the Bombers Blitz Ball League. If you guys remember back to our Q&A video, we kind of hinted at the fact that the record had already did, been broken. Yeah. This is the guy that broke it with 30. Um, that was, it was an incredible season. I think against every every My game God. he played, it seemed like he had three or four home runs. I don't know if that's true, but but he was he was hitting everything out. He had some bombs to it. They were not wall scrapers. Um, so we know Nick's got a lot of, he's got a lot of contact and a lot of power, so congratulations, Nick. All right, so our next award is actually the Comeback Player of the Year, and now, not many of our fans were expecting this award, but this award's gonna go to Matt Johnson, who actually recorded his first win in the league this year. Matt got four wins this season, and if any of you guys are like OG Bombers with the League subscribers, you know that Matt never won a game coming into the season, honestly. He didn't play much but he still had, didn't have any wins coming into the 2019 season. So congratulations to Matt Johnson being the comeback player of the year, getting his first, second, third, and fourth wins this season. So congratulations to Matt Johnson. And we actually have a, um, a statement from Matt himself uh, that was sent to us. I'll read it off the, and I quote, I really want to thank everybody in the league. They're all such amazing and dominating players, and it's always so much fun and equally terrifying playing against them. But this is amazing, and I think it's so awesome, and I'm so lucky to even be a part of all of this. I know I'm not always around for a lot of games, but I do love it a lot. So to get comeback player means a lot since I've been doing this for a few years now, and to know people see see the progress, and, and to know people see progress is an amazing feeling. So again, 
Thank you very much to all, and especially Nick and the main dude, Blitzball guy. And the last award is the ERA title, which goes to Nick again. Dominating season, he was the champion of the league. He had a .52 ERA. He was almost unhittable. I can attest to the fact in, in my games, I had trouble hitting those pitches. He was throwing pitches all over the place. The slider, the riser, the sub, you name it. He was all over the place this year. Congratulations, Nick. Good job. Thank you. I'm here with Nick. I'm going to interview uh, interview him on, for those of you who don't know, he was actually completely undefeated this season. He went 13-0 in the regular season and then went undefeated in the postseason as, season as well, um, ending with a full record of 19-0. Nick, talk about the season. What do you think uh, contributed to your success? Throwing every pitch 110%. Um, on the pitching side, definitely that. That is one of the reasons why I... Um, I was so successful on the mound. I didn't let up many runs. I think maybe four. I don't remember how many. I don't remember how many runs I let up, but obviously it was the least in the league because I had the lowest um, ERA. Yeah, I gave it 110% every pitch. On the offensive side, I was just looking to attack. You know, you see it in the videos. I'm swinging at pitches everywhere, and I told everyone before the season started, I'm looking to prove myself as the best hitter in this league. Came out hitting 357, 30 homers. I mean, what, what more can you ask for? Um, but yeah, that's what really attributed to this undefeated season. The mental aspect is huge because I'm going into every game thinking I'm better than this guy. And I think that's what a lot of people have to do in order to be successful. I mean, at the end of the day, it's only blitzball, but it's still competitive. I love playing with these guys. And I think that's, that's where we get the joy from playing. It's fun, competitive, blitzball. That's all you can really ask for. Um, it was a great season. And I'm very happy I was able to accomplish this undefeated season for the first time. Hopefully it happens again. Maybe not to myself, but it'd be cool if it happens again. It was an awesome season, Nick. Great job this year. Thank you. It was a lot of Thank fun. Thank you. Now I'm going to interview Mike Deal real quick about his 2019 season. And Mike, it wasn't the season, honestly, we all thought it was going to be for you. We thought we were going to cruise to the World Series. And honestly, we all thought it was going to be a rivalry World Series, Nicky Babuda versus Mickey Dell. But that didn't come out as planned. What were you? What were you feeling? Hey, I, it, it was an awesome year, and obviously didn't end with the results that I, that I wanted to. But um, but you know, Marco Marco really proved himself. Um, Marco was really a tough opponent. Um, I think he was one and one against in, in, in the regular season, and his I tell you that that two seamer uh, just lock it locks you up. And um, but but at the end of the day, Marco's a great player. You're you're one of the best in the league. You're probably the best in the league right now. And we had we had a lot of good competition and. Hey, I, I got nothing to complain about. It was still a good year. Thank you, Mike. And I can speak for myself and all the other guys. We got better at Blitzball. We play it every year. We're just going to get better. And I think that's what makes it more fun. More fun for the veterans because we get better and <laughs> it's more competitive. You know, there weren't that many runs. Again, like playing against Mike, two runs, one run. Marco in the World Series, one run games. Same along with John. It's just going to get more competitive. And I think that's what makes good Blitzball. You see nasty pitches and such. But it was kind of like deja vu, as we said in the NLCS. It was deja vu from last year. Just switching the results, Marco just came out on top this year. And it was the first time in a long time we've had a new champion. Mike, what do you have to say about your streak finally ending? Hey, like, like I said, I got nothing to complain about. It's been a, it's been a really fun three years, uh, these last three years, and even prior, um, but especially since we've uh, really been taking it seriously the last three years. I just, I just love to come out here and have fun with the guys, and um, and glad to see, you know, we got. I mean, obviously, it didn't end up the way I wanted to, but but Nick, uh, the founder of the league, we couldn't thank you enough, and we're, I'm, I'm glad. Appreciate I'm it. personally glad that you got, you got the W this, this, uh, this season. Hey, great season. Thank you Thanks, so much. Man. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. Let's try and get 25 likes on this video. Click right here if you want to see our latest video, and click right over here for your recommended Bombers Blitzball League video. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the notifications bell, comment your favorite player. More off-season videos coming. We'll see you guys later.